Hi, everyone. I'm Tarek, and this is my friend Sam. Um, Sam is here to help me today to demonstrate um, a couple of handstand spots. So by and large, you know, if first of all, you have to have a partner to do this. So um, you can pause this class and come back to it later um, if you don't have a partner with you. Um, this practice is all about handstands. We're going to focus real, pretty much only on handstands and helping each other in the handstands. So you gain a new awareness. Because I know many of you are maybe used to kicking up to a wall. And that's great. Kicking up to a wall is very useful. But at some point, if you want to start doing handstands in the middle of the room, which I know you all do, um, you'll have to get away from the wall. And one of the ways is to, to find someone to help you. OK? All right, so we'll come up to standing. And we'll just start with one of the things that I really love about handstands is you can kind of do them anywhere with very little or no warm up. Um, but if your shoulders are more open, you're probably going to be more successful. So let's just come into a nice shoulder opener. Um, and while you, since we have partners, um, we'll use each other to get more open. From your hands, draw into your hips. So draw back. And then you're going to bend your knees to about a 90 degree angle. Upper body is parallel to the ground, and then your arms are straight out in front. Lift each other's arms up. Reach your heart low. From your own hands, plug your arms into your heart. And from your heart, draw back into your hips. And you're just going to lean back to give each other a nice opening in the side body, just under the arms, and then really dropping the heart and lifting the armpits up. Um, so your hands are going to basically be in this position in the overhead plane. Um, and then the more you can drop your heart and lift your shoulders high, your arm bones high, um, the easier the handstand will get. One more breath. And then inhale to stand. Let's hold uh, right forearm to right forearm. Separate your feet a little wider and walk your feet a little farther back. Bend forward. Lift the right arm up from your own hand. Plug into your heart and draw back into your hips. Get really stable. And then if you want a little more, straighten the right leg by poking your right hip back and then touch the floor on the outside of your left heel. Lift your arm up, look under the arm, and then to maximize the stretch, pull your right hip back. And you can almost feel your friend pull their hip back to open up under the arm. And then again, you're trying to get your heart lower than the arm. Inhale back to the middle, <laughs> almost slipping. Switch sides. Lift the left arm up. Plug in first. So draw from your hand into your chest. And from your chest, pull back to your hips. Straighten the left leg. Touch the ground on the outside of the right heel. Lift the left arm up and look under your arm. Twist and look up. And then so that your friend is giving you the organic stretch. Like um, Sam's body weight is pulling my arm. So I can really just focus on pulling my hip back so that the side of my body gets stretched. I'm not really focusing too much on, on stretching or extending from my hips through my left arm. Sam does that for me, and I'm doing that for her. One more breath. And then inhale to come up. All the way to standing. OK, <laughs> so shoulders hopefully a little more open. Really, the position that you want to be able to get your arms in is in line with your head for the handstand. If you're only able to get your hands this far back, um, you might want to pause and do a few more shoulder openers so you can get the arm in line with your head. And then if you can immediately do that, you maybe don't even need the shoulder openers. OK, so you're looking for this alignment, uh, arm in line with the head, um, not in front of it. OK? And then so we can kind of check to see that that's happening. It is for Sam. So we're going to go up to handstand. So we'll start really simple, one of the simplest spots. Now, if you have a wall handy, you can do all of these things um, up against the wall and use the wall for backup. Um, we're not going to use the wall just so that you can see from a really good angle. I'm going to have Sam start in downward facing dog. I'm actually going to ask her to lift her right foot up, but you can lift whichever foot feels more natural. And whichever foot your friend lifts, you have to stand on the outside of that foot. So Sam, lift, I had her lift her right foot. So I want to stand on the outside of her right foot. I'm going to hold her ankle with both hands. And I keep her ankle really close. Like I could rest her ankle on my shoulder. I want to stay really close to my shoulder. All I'm going to do is hold her ankle in space. Sam's going to lift her left foot off the ground and pull her hips back. 
I haven't really done anything. I'm just holding her ankle. Then when she gets her foot over her hands, I can step to the side and bring her legs together. My job is to make sure she does not fall that way. Okay, so I'm holding on to her right foot so that she can't fall over. Okay, if anything, I can pull her back this way really easily. I don't want her to fall that way at all. So I can stick an arm out. Okay, when I, when she gets up, I'm gonna, well, actually, I can just stay here and hold her ankle and let her balance. Sam can come down whenever she wants. Actually, I'm gonna bring her down now so she doesn't get too tired. She's gonna bring her left foot down. I only hold one side so that she can come down at any time. If I hold both legs, like if I wrapped my arms around her legs, she has no way to come out and she's, when she gets tired, her arms are gonna buckle and she's just gonna fall right down on her head. So I only hold one side um, in that spot. Let's do that. Actually, you spot me, Sam. We'll do one more. Um, Stand on this side so they can see. I'll lift my left leg. Okay, so you start in down dog, lift one leg, and then Sam supports that leg. I'm going to lift my other leg up until it's over my head, and then Sam comes off to the side. She can stand. So she's done a really good thing. She has one foot behind me and one foot off to the side. So if I do start to go over, right, she can, she can block me from falling over, right? And I'm, like, I'm trying to fall over now. And, and Sam's a lot smaller than me, but she can still um, control my weight. As long as I don't get too far past my hands, um, she can make sure that I don't fall over, All right? And then Sam, actually, just for a second, hold both legs. So here's what not to do, holding both legs. So now if I try to come down, See, as soon as, as soon as I shake my legs, she uh, instinctively lets go. But if she continues to hold my legs, I can't get down. So if you are holding both legs or both hips, we're going to show a hip spot in the next round. Um, the spotter should always be ready to let the person come down, to let the person doing the handstand come down. Um, you never want to hold them too long. Um, and so it's really important for the spotter to be in tune with What's happening with the handstander? Okay. So, like the spotter too, you, uh, you're less res- there's like less responsibility of the person's body. Does that make sense? Wait. If you're holding both ankles, you're, it's like you're making them handstand. Yeah. Oh, I understand yeah. what you're saying. So when when you're supporting them less, the person doing the handstand has more responsibility mm-hmm. and and for their own safety. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. So like, sort of the you want to spot with the the lightest spot that's appropriate. The lightest spot that's appropriate. So for some people, you're going to need to hold them very strongly. And for other people, you're just going to barely hold them. Okay, here's the next spot. Um, Let's start in down dog. So now, if your friend can kick up, um, here's the next spot. I'm going to set one foot behind or off to the side of Sam's head and the other foot uh, behind. Notice how much space I'm giving her between her hands and my foot. I'm not right here. If she comes up right now, she's going to just run into me and knock me over. Okay. So I want one foot back. I'm giving her space to come up. So, you know, it's, I don't know, the gap is about, I don't know, a foot and a half. And then my other foot's off to the side. I'm in a nice warrior pose. You'll notice that I'm holding my hand at her hips here. It's because I'm not ready for her to kick up right now. And I don't want her to accidentally kick up and hit me in the face. I know this from experience. I've been kicked in the face more times than I care to admit. I've been clocked in the nose a couple of times. I don't like it. I don't like being kicked in the face. So I do this to protect myself. Then when I'm ready, I'm going to grab Sam's hips. I use all of my hands, like the, my fingers, my palms, and I wrap my hands around her hips. I can feel her hip bones underneath, uh, un- underneath my hands. Like, and she can feel the bones of my hands on her hips. She's going to step one foot in. I'm going to let her come up to my shoulder. She's going to kick up. I let her come up to me. So now her legs are resting on my right shoulder, so I can actually let go, and she can lean back, and she's not going anywhere. I got you. Okay? I'm not going to have you do that, but I could. My point is that the shoulder is supporting her. I'm going to hold her hips really strongly, though, so that she knows that I'm here for her. And then she can just stretch up. And then I can give her cues to... Um, to help her align. She's in a really good handstand. I'm, there's not much to correct here. But, um, you know, I, I, I can give her an outside point of view and ask her to do um, different things. One more breath. 
and then rest. There you go. OK, so that's a spotting from the hips so that your friend can kick up, um, as opposed to, so the first spot is probably the most, is really great for beginners who don't know how to kick up yet. They don't know how to do that action. And so um, holding the ankle and letting them pull themselves up is a great way for like brand new beginners to handstand. Um, most of you, you can kick up and then you just spot at the hips and then work on bouncing in the middle of the room. Uh, again, I'm, I'm giving Sam the minimal amount of support that's appropriate. So I want her to balance as much as possible. We're going to keep going, and we'll show you a couple of different spots. So we're going to shift to a block spot. Um, Sam's going to help me go up in the same way that we just did, and then you'll see she'll pick up a block and spot me with the block. I'm going to stand on this side again, and just so they could see. The block is going in between. Let's go, let's go thighs. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start in down dog, and then we'll demonstrate this spot again. Sam makes sure that she's ready, so she's got a hand on my sacrum, which is that big flat bone at the base of my spine. Yeah, well, yeah, watch out for Mike. I'll step one foot in and lift the other leg high. All right, she lets me come up to her. She's not trying to pull me up. She's just guiding me to her shoulder. Okay, I'm going to kick up. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, ready? Hey, wait, I can, I can move it for a oh. sec. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Yeah, I feel like there should be some kind of background music playing. Yeah. We are now experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> All right. Wait, why am I having such a hard time here? No, I got it. Okay. All right, here we go. Sorry. Yeah, that wasn't, it's just, it was just in a weird place. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna come into my hands out. She has to reach with one hand to grab the block. <laughs> She's gonna put the block um, between my thighs, so I have to open my feet a little bit. I'm gonna squeeze the block, and then Sam's just gonna hold the block with both hands. Unrehearsed. I've actually never so, done the one. Here, wait, I'll spot you. Okay. And then we could do a different spot, too. Okay, okay so here's, here's a slightly different spot. So now, as, for those of you, as you get more advanced at this, like, I'll just stick my arm out and let Sam come up to my arm. Here's the thing. Uh, as long as her legs don't pass her hands, she's not going to go over. Watch, kick up as hard as you can, Sam. See? I can force her down no matter how hard she's kicking up. So I, I need to make sure she doesn't pass her hands. If she goes this far over past her hands, she's going to tear my arm off. Okay. So I want to be really strong. I let her come up to my arm. Okay, and then once she's up at my arm, I'm just going to grab her ankle, which is kind of the, the spot that we are at before. And I have to be able to grab the block and pull the block up. She's going to separate her feet a little bit. I'm going to give her the block between her thighs. And then here's the cool part. I'm just going to spot the block. Sam doesn't know how much I'm spotting the block. She can't really feel that. For all she knows, I'm not touching the block right now, or I'm touching the block only on one side, or, or whatever. But I'm, I'm trying to keep the block centered over her hands. <laughs> oh my god, my wrist just totally gave out. <laughs> so I'm trying to keep the block over her hands so she doesn't go forward or back. Handstanders, don't open your feet wide Do me handstand. My wrist just totally like cracked. That was cool. You okay? Good. Just, okay. Do you yeah. want to try that spot? Do you kind of know what I was doing? Yeah, so you're holding the block like this? Yeah. Like and the then, way you would do the yeah. Okay. And then you can, you can spot me, just stick your arm out. I'll come up to your arm, and that way you, can, you don't have to bend down for the block. I don't do this. No, you, I can't do that. Yeah, but you could hold the block in one hand and spot oh, me with the left, yeah. I'll kick up really light. All right, again, this, this spot is a little more advanced. Okay, so I'll go up. Yeah. And then block. Yeah. And then you're just using fingertips on the block. And you kind of can guide me. And then you can trick me into 
doing a handstand because I can't really tell how much you're holding the block. Okay, okay I'm coming down. Okay. All right, so cool. block, block spot. That was really cool. um, one more. Okay. Um, just the heel spot. Um, so then my favorite spot really is just to, you have to be as tall or maybe even a little taller. So I, I think you could do it for me, but I'll, I'll spot you not first. Down dog. Yeah, down dog. All right, so I'm going to go back to the, this is the typical spot. Okay, so from here. I'll hold Sam's hips. I'm going to let her come up to me. OK, so you have some options here. So from here, you could do that other spot without the block. I can move my hands to the front of her thighs and the backs of her calves. And I can kind of ping pong her between my fingers and try to get her to balance in a handstand for me. There it goes. All right, or I can put my fist between her calves and let her squeeze my fist. And then again, I'm trying to just center my hands, my hand, my fist over her hands. And then here's my favorite spot. Hopefully Sam has a little left. Just one finger to one heel. Again, my job is to help her find center over her hands. Okay, so um, there's lots of different ways to spot, um, different spots that will shift your awareness of, of what's happening in the handstand. So I encourage you, it's like cross training for handstand. I like the heel one a lot. Like the heel one? Yeah, me too. My favorite. It's my favorite to spot too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, ready for the finale here? Yeah. Okay. This last round's bonus round. Um, you don't have to do this, but you can. You can play. All right. So we're just gonna play. Come on, do all fours facing away from each other. Start on your hands and knees with your shoulders over your wrists and your hips over your knees. And then lift your knees off the ground. You're in a short down dog. And then we're going to lift um, one foot up, straight up, and straighten the leg. We'll look at each other, press our chests towards each other, and we're moving into an L shape in the upper body. We'll move that first. <laughs> in your back? More, hips up. yeah, and heart towards me. So you're not rounding your back. Yeah, yeah. Minimize that. One more try. And then Sam, we're gonna try to get that that same side, this side up. Okay. This leg straight up. We'll go up like we just did. Okay. All right. So lift up, and then we're gonna take that same that first leg. It's your right, I think. Yeah, okay. it's your right. We're gonna take it. We're gonna separate that feet, foot from each other. Maybe. All right. Chest towards me. Hips up. You got it. Now the foot up. There you go. All right. Bonus extra credit. All right. Do this. It takes, it takes some practice. That is not the first time that we've done that. Um, partner, handstand. So if you don't have a wall, um, it's easier for me to do that than to do the handstand on my own. But. Um, it's, that's not easy position at all. It no. takes some practice. And it's okay if you like, are moving in and out of it a little bit, getting to know how your body works with that. You can also have a third, if you have a third person, mm -hmm. um, you can have that person hold your feet together. Um, the, the first foot that we lifted together, the person can hold the feet together and, and spot you in that. Okay. Um, I hope we've given you a couple of things to think about and to practice. Um, grab a friend, um, do some handstands. Um, practice uh, until you uh, feel more comfortable um, with these spots and, um, and just being upside down. Thanks for practicing with us. We'll see you next time.